Hello, and welcome to the DoFund online computer skills class. This is lesson five, part one, attachments and downloads. So what is an attachment, right? When we open emails, our attention focuses to the text of the email or the body, but there are also other parts visible in that email, like a timestamp or signature. Um, and aside from that information, emails can also have attachments. Attachments are additional documents. Um, they can be photos or audio files as well that are in that email, and they're not exactly visible right away. Um, to access an attachment in an email, you do have to click to open the attachment. Um, try to think of any emails that maybe you've received that had an attachment in it, and what was that about? Maybe it was a form to sign, um, maybe something you needed to print out, And I'll move on. So attachments can be identified in two different ways. One of those ways is from your inbox. Um, and you can identify that an email has an attachment because you'll see a paper clip at the far right side of the subject line. So you'll see over here my uh, sample email inbox, right? You'll see that this line here has an email. It has an attachment. And I know that before opening the email, because I see the paperclip symbol there as well. Um, this email, the second one on the list, also has an attachment. And the last one you could see down here. Um, these other two emails do not have files attached to them because I don't see that paperclip there. So you know before opening up your email if it has an attachment or not. Um, and once you open the email, the attachment will appear at the bottom of the email. Um, so like below the body. Um, you'll also still see that paper clip, right? So I'm going to point out, right, that over here, this file that says staff meeting notes, that's the attachment. So you'll see the paper clip symbol. You open your email. It should look something like this with a regular email up here. And then something that you can click on right here. And that is the file. When you click on it, that would be opening it. Okay, utilizing attachments and downloads, right? So again, here's what it looks like when you receive an email with an attachment. Um, and here's what you should do. So I'm actually going to stop for a moment to say that uh, it's best if you watch this entire video first before trying it on your own. You can always, you know, kind of reference back after the video is done, but it's best if you see the whole process before you begin actually doing the process. Um, so the first thing you would do is open up the email. Uh, the attached file is going to be located at the bottom of the message, right down here. You're going to left click the downward pointing arrow. So right here, the down arrow for download. Um, when you get attachments, you'll see that there's two choices when you hover your mouse above the file. One of those is the arrow, which you would use to download, and then the other is this triangle emblem, um, and that lets you save, save files to your Google Drive. And that's something that we'll discuss a bit more later. You'll be using Google Drive a bit, um, but for today, we're going to talk more about downloading. So you'd click the arrow to download the attachment. Um, and then if you download an attachment, that means it's saved to your computer. And that's different from saving to Google Drive. You're saving to the physical device that you're using. Um, and then you could utilize the attachment however you'd like. During the job search process, it's possible, even likely, that you maybe send interview documents in an email attachment that you'll need to print out. Um, a lot of times they'll send you... Um, some sort of an employment document, you'll have to print that out, fill it in physically, scan it, and email it back. Okay. So when you do download something, um, it'll come up sort of at the bottom, uh, just above the taskbar on your screen. And we'll practice a bit of downloading using a file titled employment verification, right? So when we look at our sample email, you see right here, the employment verification document. Um, after the recipient of this email downloaded it, 
they were able to see the name of that document. Okay, and the file can be down. So you, you're actually not going to receive this in an email. This file can be downloaded from the classwork page on Google Classwork. Classwork. So classroom. I'm sorry. So after this lesson, you'll go back into the classwork page, and um, you know you could download it from there, and it'll be saved to your computer. Excuse me. When the form has been downloaded, the file name will appear again in the bottom left-hand corner of the browser window, and that would mean it's saved to your computer. Attachments, right? So we're going to compose an email and attach the employment document that was just downloaded, right? So we're going to kind of pretend fast forward here. So let's say you finished the video you downloaded the employment document, employment verification from Classwork page. Um, it's now saved to your computer. You're going to go ahead and compose a new email. And you're going to attach the document you just downloaded to that email by, of course, clicking the paperclip button. And when you click that paperclip, you'll be able to pick the file you want to attach. And that window will look like this. So you'll click on the paper clip, get a window with a list of files. Um, and you'll need to select the file that you want to attach to that email. In this case, you'll select the employment verification file. Okay. Um, and you'll be doing that again, not through email, but getting it from Google Classroom. So you compose your email. Right? You've attached your document. When you attach a document, it will appear at the bottom of your email. Um, and once you have that document attached, um, you can go ahead and confirm that, you're, that you received it and that you're sending it back and willing to meet up for that job. So thanks. You've reached the end of Lesson 5, Part 1. Um, you completed the video for attachments and downloads. You're going to return to the Google Classroom Classwork page and take the Lesson 5 Part 1 assessment. And this assessment is basically doing the process that I just showed you through these slides. Um, good luck in completing the Lesson 5 Part 1 assessment. Thank you.